Um, so speaking of stories, and I love how you did that, but one of the things that I use two realtors to sell you is like a famous line that I have because I say it so much. And when a new realtor comes to me and says, okay, Lindsay, so if I have you stage the house, who am I going to have photogra photograph it? And I say, of course, Matt Harmon. And they say, why Matt Harmon? And I say, because he shoots the home the way that I stage the story. So great. <laughs> well, well, it's true, though, because I remember when we first started. This is such a good like lesson in the way that realtors complain about things that really matter and really are important, like the stairwell. The stairwell is important. You have to have that shot. But I've also heard realtors complain that you took a picture of the tablescape. Why would you take a picture of the tablescape when we're trying to see the whole house? Well, because the tablescape captures the feeling of totally. the, warm, the warmth and the coziness of this house. I totally agree. And I, when you were asking earlier, my favorite shot, my second favorite shot is detail shots. And it's oftentimes staging but it's not even going with the house it's somebody's personal property or it's your property it's something someone brought in but it sets the vibe of what this house feels like it tells the story of what it's like to be in this house and i think as a connective shot it does so much to tell the story of what you're trying to convince someone to buy the house absolutely um <clears throat> what would you say I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the answer to this question. But would you say that that's what sets you apart from other photographers? So when I see what other photographers are doing, and I, or we, you know, maybe we're there measuring and we see the photographer come through, we'll see them, you know, no tripod, camera in hand. They're just walking into each room, click, move on, click, move on. I know that they are just going for volume. They're just trying to get through, you know, as many shots as quickly as they can. And maybe they're sending that realtor. 60 or 70 shots or 100 shots. I know some photographers are doing that. Just a massive overkill of number of photos. Um, but what our guys are trying to do is to figure, they walk into a room and figure out what are one or two angles that I can take of this space that really capture the most important pieces. Is there an accent wall over here? Is, you know, is this, has this table, this end table been staged on purpose to be captured? If it has, I better not have my back to it shooting away from it. Um, hmm, and how can good. we, if we're trying to lead to another space, my guys are pretty good about, okay, so this family room leads to a breakfast note, which leads to a kitchen. Is there a shot that will kind of say that? Instead of just, here's a family room, here's a breakfast note, here's a kitchen. Is there one shot that kind of glues that together? Even if it means we can't take or we can't include that empty bedroom shot later on. It means that we have told the story of how this main living area works a little bit better, which is so important. If you're just looking at pictures online.